Okay. Now, I also want to do gummy bears today because it's Monday, but we'll have to wait and see how far we get. All right. So, remember, guys, the key to doing this whole unit is showing and doing your work. It cannot go wrong if you actually write down what you're doing. So I wanted the area of a circle. Area of a circle you got right off your formula sheet is pi r squared. R here is what? 11. 11. So it's pi times 11 squared, which is 121 pi, which I would have been perfectly acceptable. That's fine. Many of you probably went one step further and did 121 times your pi button which is 121, 21, 21 times pi. Times pi, pi, pi equals. And then, of course, you got 380.13. We all know about pi. Yes? Okay. Now, I'm just going to do something a little funky here so I can have my calculator on the screen at the same time as my question. Now, over here, area equaled pi r squared. But I didn't give you an r here, did I? Yes. I gave you the d. So what did you have to do? So how much is this? Two. two. So it was pi times two squared, which was four pi which was, if you went to your calculator, 4 pi. 12.57. Yeah? Everybody cool? All right. Okay, now, ooh, no picture. And I gave you a circumference. Damn! That's tough. Except you know that pi, or sorry, that circumference equals pi d. Because that's on your sheet, isn't it? So if you know your circumference, isn't it 25.1? Yep. So 25.1 equals pi d. How do you get d by itself? Isolate it, so I got to divide by pi. So d equal 25.1 divided by pi. Now if you look on your formula sheet, which I have right here, area of a circle right there, pi r squared. So you needed an r. So what did you have to do with that whole answer? Divide that by 2. Right? Yeah. So you had to go to your calculator. You had to go 25. 25.1. Point. Point. 1. Divided by. Divided by. Pi. Equals. 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 And then, what did you have to do with that? Divide, divide it. it by 2. Divide it by 2. Right? And, and then you had to square that. Because it's pi r squared, isn't it? Oh, yeah. So square that and multiply that by pi. Correct? Yeah. To get an answer of 50.13. Now, I want to show you guys something. Because all of you went to your calculator here, didn't you? Right? I would like to show you something. You know area is pi r squared, yes? Right? And you know that circumference is pi, pi d, correct? Right? 
And you know that D is also two R's, isn't it? So circumference is two R's with a pi. Yeah? Everybody still with me? Now we knew our circumference, didn't we? 25.1 equal 2 R pi. Yeah? And we need the R by itself, correct? So I would have to divide this by 2 pi. Is everybody with me? That gets R by itself. Yeah? Okay. So that's R. There's an R right there, isn't it? So pi times R 25.1 over 2 pi all squared, yes? Okay. So multiply this into here. Right? Can I then cancel one of those pi's? So isn't it 25 divided by 2 squared? See what I'm saying? Okay. Now, these ones were tricky. Right? So tricky. This is the one Mr. Close actually texted me this. Because it was a trick. Okay? The shape is this, yeah? It's a triangle, agreed? Okay. And then... I wrote in this extra bit. Okay? Everybody with me? Okay. Watch. What shape did I just make? Two. Right? And what's the height going to be now? I drew it badly. Let me redraw it. So it's easier for you guys to see what I meant, what I mean. Does everyone agree that that's the same shape? Everyone sees that? Now, if I made this if I do this, how long is this side? Two. And how long is this? 3.8. How do you find the area of that rectangle? Length times width, wouldn't you? But I didn't need the whole thing. I only needed half of it, didn't I? So wouldn't it have been base times height divided by 2? That's it. Is there any trick to it? No, because a triangle is half a rectangle. A rectangle is length times width. This isn't a rectangle, it's a parallelogram, but if you look in your notes, you see we did that, didn't we? And I think it's on your formula sheet. Base times height, the bottom. It's not on your formula sheet, but we did that in your notes. And you guys had your notes available to you for this. This is a triangle, isn't it? Except I've turned it sideways, haven't I? Triangles are one half base times height. Right? So if I turn this triangle around, then this becomes the base, and this becomes the height, doesn't it? So, one half base 7.6 times height 5.2. So that times that divided by 2. And the answer will be somewhere around 20. Okay? I'm only going to give you the somewhere arounds because this is the important stuff, right? I don't care if you punch your calculator correctly. If you're not punching your calculator correctly, I, I can't help you. That was it on that page, yeah? So this one, what is it? It's in your notes, base times height, right? So it's 6.3 times 3, which is 18, no, I lie, uh, 9 and 18, oh yeah, 18.9. And this was just area, yeah? Yeah. Area here, length times width, 
times 6.8, which is of course going to be somewhere around 28, whatever it was. And this one is of course 64. Right? Okay. Find the missing length. What does that symbol tell you? It's a that it's a 90 degree triangle. What finds lengths in 90 degree triangles? Pythagoras. Which of these is C? Where does C always live? Across from the angle. So that goes there. 7.3 squared. 6.8 squared goes there. Plus B squared. Right? I need B by itself. So how do I get rid of this? I gotta take away 6.8 squared, don't I? Mm -hmm. If I take that away from this side, what do I gotta do to this side? Same thing. 7.3 squared minus 6.8 squared. Do that, square it. Do that, square it, subtract it. Then what do you do to your answer? Square root. So you had to go 7.3. Look how slick you can be on your calculator. Square root bracket 7.3 squared minus 6.8 squared close brackets. Now what is my calculator going to do there? It's going to do the brackets first. So it's going to do my 7.3 squared minus 6.8 squared and then it's going to square root everything. Right? Equals. And then you had to change it to 2.66. Then you check. Is this the shortest side? Yes. Is 2.6 the shortest number? Yes. So did we do it right? Yes. Now. Anything change over here? I rotated it. The hypotenuse is down here. So it was A squared, B squared, C squared. But I knew A and B, not C. So it's just adding the square root of 13.9 squared plus 4.7 squared. Do that with your calculator and get the answer. And it's going to be somewhere around 196 minus 25 which is 171, so somewhere around 13 and a bit for that one. I could punch it all in, but that will waste time. That's is, is, well, 13.1 is 13 and a bit, so you're right. Anything change here? It's the subtraction one, isn't it? Because yeah. I know the hypotenuse. So it's the square root of 12.2 squared, which is about 144, minus 3.7 squared, which is about 16. 144 minus 16 is about 128, which is pretty close to 121. Square root of 121 is 11. So your answer is going to be 11 in a bit. And what was it? 11.5, 11, 11 in a bit. Oh, without even a calculator. Oh, somebody stop me. <laughs> and this one. Ooh, yuck. Except nothing changes. It's just rotated. Square root. Is this a plus or a minus one? Why is it minus, Emily? Because you have a hypotenuse. 9.4 squared, which is about 100. Minus 5.9 squared, which is about six, uh, 36. So that's going to be 100 minus 36, 64. So that's going to be around 8. And what was it, Tasha? 7.3. Great, mate. Because there's two eight in those. Okay. This was sneaky. You have to make some assumptions here, don't you? You didn't do 13. Didn't I? Oh, crap, I didn't. Well, square root of 9.1 squared minus 3.4 squared. 9.1 squared is about 81. That's about 9. 
81 minus 9 is 72, so it's going to be about 8.5. Okay. Cool? Mm -hmm. All right. Everybody good? Yep. All right. Now, normally in math, we don't make assumptions, do we? We measure stuff and we prove it. But, I wanted to see if you guys could make some sense of what was going on. And this led directly into what you did with Miss Morrison, yeah? Where we were jamming shapes together. Well, what shape is that? It's not a square. It's a rectangle. How did you find the area here? The area is length times width, which is... 10 times 22, which is 220, correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay. This, what is the assumption you made here? That that's half a circle. Yeah. Yeah? What's the area of a circle? Pi r squared. So what's the area of half a circle? Pi r. Pi r squared pi r. divided by 2. Oh! Did you know the r? Yeah. What was it? 5. 5. So it's 25 pi divided by 2, correct? Yes, yes. 25 divided by 2 is 12.5 pi, yeah? Yes. And then what would you do with 220 and 12.5 pi? To get the area of the whole thing. Add it up. Yeah. So, 220 plus 12.5 pi. And you do 12.5 pi in your calculator by doing 12.5 times pi, correct? Yes. So it's going to be about, 30, about 40, yeah? Yeah. So it's going to be about 260. Yeah. Everybody cool? Yeah. That's the area. I wanted the perimeter as well. Perimeter is what? Around the side. So 10, 22, what's this side? 22. And what's the perimeter here? Circumference equals pi d, correct? But I only needed half the circumference. So you get divided in half. Divided by 2. And isn't D divided by 2 R? Yes. So isn't this just pi R? Yes. Wait, I was... So 5 pi. Okay. So it was 22 and 22, which was 44, plus 10, 54, plus 5 R, which is about 15. So somewhere around 69 and a bit. Okay. Got it? Any questions? No? Okay. Why is it when I say, okay, nobody says a word? Any questions? Nobody says a word. Any questions again? Nobody says a word. Okay, wait! I have a question. He actually said, I have a question after I asked twice if there were any questions. <coughs> So, James Kozolowski, what is your question that you are now asking after I asked you twice if you had any questions? Okay, so let's say that it was a bigger shape. Like, let's say you can change this shape from... Okay, actually, I'll come back to you. Everybody cool? Yeah. Remember, I am not ever going to give you something you cannot do. What would be the point? Right? Yes. It may look different, but you have all the tools to do every question I will ever give you. Just break it down. What is this? A triangle and a rectangle. It is... It's that, isn't it? Yeah. What is the assumption you made when you made that line? That is 90 degrees. 90 degrees, correct? Yeah. Now, if this whole part is 18, then how much is this part? 6. 18. So what's this? 6. 6. And what's this? 14. So doesn't that give you the other side in this right angle triangle? Yeah. 14 squared plus 6 squared, and then I take the square root to get here, isn't it? Yep. 14 squared is 196, 6 squared is 36, that's 202, 200, square root of 232, which is approximately 
No, it's not a lot. It's 14, it's 15, it's 15 in a bit. 15 point something. 15 point... 15.23. Now, do you know the perimeter? Uh, is that two? Okay, on the, on the square root, then is that a two? And then 232. Yep. So do you know the perimeter now? Yeah. What is it? 18 plus 14 plus 24 plus 15.23. And then I add it up to get my perimeter. Uh, it's eight so it's 0.23. And then 8, 8 is 16, and 1 is 21. 2, 2, 4, 6, 7. 71. Okay. Now, what's area? How do I find the area over here? Length times width. Length times width. 18 times 14, yeah? yeah? 18 times 14, which is 180, and 40 is 220, and 32, 272, isn't it? Yes. Now i got to check. 4 times 8 is 32, 4 times 4 and 3 is 72, and 72 and 180 is, yes, 252. Thank you. How about find the area of a triangle? 1 half base times height. 14 times 6 divided by 2. So 84 divided by 2, 42. What do I do with those two numbers? Add them together. Now, I'll ask you, is it actually complicated? No. no. If I gave you this, 14, 6, and said 6, and said find the area, could you do it? Mm -hmm. Okay. And if I gave you this, 14, 18, and told you to find the area, could you do it? Mm -hmm. So why would it be difficult to do... that it's not is it I don't remember my question now oh excellent what is it so if the rectangle is bigger than the half circle so would you have to do like, 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 you're just asking me Mr. Myers how did I know that was a half circle that's what you're asking me no then what are you asking me okay Yes. Okay. So hard until you look at my hint, yeah? If I put a dot right in the middle, what did I just make? Six triangles that are all the same, aren't they? So if this was 13, I have this triangle, don't I? 13, yeah? How long is this side? No. It's 13 and 13, isn't it? Because oh, yeah. they're all the same. Yeah. Right? Uh, Everyone agree? Yeah. And the area of a triangle is one half base times height, isn't it? Yep. So I need a height, yeah? Yep. How do I find that height? <coughs> I make a 90 degree triangle. Yep. What happens to this 13 when I draw that line? 6.5. Now, can I use Pythagoras to find the height? Yep. Okay. So it's going to be the square root of 13 squared minus 6.5 squared, isn't it? That's going to give me my height, yeah? So that is uh, 169 minus about 40. So square root, square root 169, 169 minus 6.5. Point, point, 5 squared. 5 squared equals 11.26, yeah? So my height is 11.26. And there's six of them, yeah? So one of them would be 1 half times 11.26 times 13, correct? But there are how many of them? One, two, three, four, five, six. So what do I do with six times a half is what? 
3. So 3 times 11.26 times 13. That gets me this, doesn't it? But I also have to add this, right? And this triangle, base times height, would be these sides, wouldn't it? I know that's 13. Can I find that? Yes. Pythagoras again, right? Pythagoras again to find that, then multiply that by that, and divide by 2, and add it to that. Cool? Again, it looks difficult, doesn't it? And how many of you looked at it and said, I can't do that? How many of you now think that? If I gave you just this, and said, tell me how tall that triangle is, I'm sure a few of you would have said, oh, well, tall must be right there. Oh, 90, oh, 6.5, oh, Pythagoras. Do you see what I'm saying? Stop looking at this and start looking at the pieces that build it. Okay? You've all played with Lego. You've all seen the Lego movie. All that stuff was built with Lego. It starts small. Look at the bits. Do something. Okay? Oh, thanks. You're the best. Hey, Grace. Nope. Mr. Shippets. Erwin. Question. In a sec. Or you could just watch the video. Because I'm recording this, remember? Yeah. Okay. Now, oh, what did you do, Mr. Myers? I put three shapes together. Whoa. I'm a mad math teacher. It's a half a circle, a half circle, it's a rectangle, and it's a triangle. So the air, and it's a 90 degree, Maddie, look at you. So what's the area of a half circle? Pi r squared divided by 2, plus LW for a rectangle, plus 1 half base times height for the triangle. Yeah? Okay. Do I know the R? Yep. <clears throat> Not yet. Because I don't know this side, do I? So I gotta do, I need this side because I don't have the R or the W or the height. Do I have the base? Yes. What is it? How do you know it's six, James? Because 21 subtract 27 is 6. Well, no, 27 subtract 21 is 6. But I know what you're saying. And you know this side, yeah? yeah. Is this hypotenuse? Yes. So is this a minus? Mm -hmm. So I need the square root of 16 squared minus 6 squared. Mm -hmm. Right? Which is 216. No. That isn't right. 16 squared is 256. 256 minus 36. The square root of 220 is right here, yeah? Mm -hmm. And then you can do all your work. Because if you divide that by 2, you get your R, it's your W, and it's your height. Cool? And then, of course, perimeter, 21 plus 16 plus 27 plus half a circle. Perimeter, circumference equals pi D. You knew your D. Pi times that gets you your circumference, then you divide it by two, because it was half a circle. Kaya. Everybody cool? Yeah. Right? <coughs> it's obviously I can do this faster than you. That's how it should be, right? Yeah. Just like you guys at 14 should be able to run faster than me, right? Right. Some of you can't, but that's neither. That's not the point. You should be able to. Um, but the theory, 
the thinking behind it is not complicated, is it? Right? Because you just got to think, if I gave you that and said, tell me what the area of it is, you know it's pi r squared. And then I say, okay, now I'm cutting it in half. Well, I'm going to cut it in half. Understand? That's why I gave you this sheet and told you work with each other. Okay, that's why I walked out the door and said, figure this out. Because you, I knew that you already knew how to do every question on it, because I've shown you every single shape on it, haven't I? Have we done area of a triangle? Yep. Have we done Pythagoras? Yep. Have we done area of a circle? Yep. Have we done circumference of a circle? Yep. Have we done area of a rectangle? Yep. Have we done area of a parallelogram? Yep. It was all there, wasn't it? Okay? All right. So I'm going to stop that recording. And now